Yep. The Maverick is definitely a bit of a mess right now. So, door cards off here, there. There, there. Camping gear in the back. Screwdrivers, screws. So, basically, um, while I'm waiting for some parts for some other mods, very important mods I might add, um, the radio died a couple of trips ago, so I decided to replace it just with um, a second-hand one my uncle had laying around. Um, so here it is, just a, I don't even know what it is, Pioneer. It's got Bluetooth, so that's a step up from the old one I had. Um, now, it's probably not going to be the one that will be in there for the next, I don't know, however long. I'll probably replace that in the next 12 months, but that was just a quick, easy, cheap fix for me. Um, now, when I put that in, I got it to work, but then there's been some further issues. It played music for a little bit and cut out, so that suggested to me that there was a short somewhere. G'day guys, so as you saw from the intro, we are upgrading the audio system, which I'm pretty stoked about. Um, it's a small little mod, but it makes all the difference from driving to and from trips. It's not like we have the speakers going while we're full driving, but it's about comfort on the way there. And let's face it, these old things aren't the comfiest things, but they do the good job. Now, um, I've already taken the door cards off a couple of the doors. But I'm going to show you guys how to take the door card off using the driver's side door. Now, this one doesn't have a speaker. No idea why. If someone can answer me why this door doesn't have a speaker, but the other three do, please let me know in the comments because it has confused me and my mates why why there is no speaker there. Uh, there's not even speaker wire here, so... I don't know. Let me know if you know. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll get to taking this door card off. And I'll show you how you do that. Okay, so to take the door card off, you're going to need a couple of tools. Now, all you're going to need is screwdrivers, basically. Um, now, we have a flathead here, just a small one. And then we got two Phillips heads. One's a bigger one and just your medium, I guess. Now, with door cards, you can use specialty tools for these. But if you're just doing it in the shed like me... Use screwdrivers. Even at work, I use screwdrivers. It's as easy as. Anyway, we'll get to it. Okay, first step, we're going to get our Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to unscrew some screws. So the first screw is pretty obvious. It is right there on your door handle. So take him out. And then you'll notice this is loose. So just open the door a little bit there and then that bit comes out. Now, good place to put your screws. I'll just put that on the ground there. Now, switch to this little screwdriver, poke them in there in the door handle, and these little wings open up, and there's screws in there. Now, they're a bigger screw size, so I'm just gonna use this bigger Phillips. Now, if someone has played around with these before, they may have stripped it out, like this one. So, basically what that means is the screw's just going to spin and it's not going to undo. So, you might want to put a little bit of force on there. And there we go. So, what I basically mean is, in there, there's a little bit of metal that it threads into. And now, if I poke this out... The last person obviously did it up too tight or cross-threaded it and the metal is actually wrapped around the screw there so came across that on the other door but i'll just have to put a bigger screw in when we go in there now this is where a lot of people come undone they're like right the door the, all the screws are off um and they go along and pop the door card but they can't get it off because of the window winder 
Now, trick of the trade, you're gonna need this little screwdriver here. And in behind here is a is a pin. I'll get you, I'll show you what it looks like. Right, so basically you have your door handle here, right? And then what you can see from the outside is this there as well. Well, between this door handle and this little um, plastic piece, there is one of these. Now, these things, they lock this to a little spline in there so it doesn't pull off while you're driving along. So you got to find this and flick it out. So the easiest way I've found to get these out is obviously with this screwdriver. Now you want to put it between the plastic and the door handle and just pry it a little bit and you can see in there. Um, now if you can't see the little legs poking out, just spin the door handle a bit and you'll come around to it, I guess. When you when you see it, you'll know. Now I see it down here. So you want to kind of poke it in there and twist a little bit so you can get more surface area on that pin and just push it out a little bit. So I'll push it out. If I'm lucky enough, I might poke out the bottom here. No, it doesn't want to. So it should poke out the bottom a little bit and you should be able to like just pry it out a little bit. And there we go. That's the little pin. And a mozzie does it attack me. And there we go. That is the little pin there. Or circlip. Well, I don't know what you want to call that. Anyway, it goes in the door. And now, swivel this a little bit. Voila. There is the door handle. Or the window one. Now, that's all good and free. Everything's free. All you want to do is go around from, say, the bottom. Grab the bottom. And you want it to pop. You want to hear those pops. Now, be careful. Because if you go too rough, you will break the um, the wood backing. If you're having trouble, stick a screwdriver in there. Feel that one's breaking, so we're going to come around and do the others first. There we go. Now, as you can see, I broke one up here. Now, that's not too big of an issue. You can always buy them if you want to. I think you can buy probably a pack of them on eBay to search up trim clips or door card clips or something like that. You should be able to get like a pack of 20 or something for a couple of bucks. Anyway, this is the door card out. And now we have full access to our door here. So, now we can put some speakers in. Okay, so now I've got the door card off. Switch back to um, when I was originally talking to you about the random speaker that was, wasn't there. How come it's got like a speaker hole here? But no speaker. Like what? What happened here? Um, anyway, now with your door card, it's got like this plastic stuff and it's usually glued but because this has been off by a previous owner and they put weird glue on there it comes off pretty easily but usually it has black sticky stuff or well, maybe these ones don't have it anyway this plastic will be stuck there you just want to pull it off and you should be able to get to your speaker now usually they have one two three screws just unscrew it and there'll be some wires, a little clip, you push that in and you pull it out. So we should be sweet. I might show you that on the other door. 
Okay, so here's the speaker on the passenger side door. Now, there was two screws here and there was one up here. Now, I've already taken this out, so we'll just unscrew this. Now, behind here, you'll see this little thing. If you still have the original speakers, which this only has one. Um, now, on this plug to get it off, you got to push down that little button there and then pull it up and it will come off. You sure you're cutting that in the right place? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, turn of events. We're back on this speaker thing because parts 11 arrived and Edmund's here, so we may as well. Now, for the rears, we've gone with these, what are they? JVC DRVN, anyway. And on the front, we're going for these kicker ones. So yeah, hopefully they work. We're gonna have to space these out because on the rear, it hits the window and on the front, it hits the window guide. So for the front, we're going with 25 mil speaker spaces. And on the front, we've got 16 mil speaker spaces. Um, and hopefully that works. Edmunds is cutting out that door card because the front driver's side did not have a speaker in it at all. Righto, so all four doors are apart. We have traced the wires um, on these. These two back doors that aren't original, they've got the um, speaker wires hooked up into them. That hole cut nicely into that door there. Sorry, it's a bit dark, by the way. Um, and we've traced a wire here, a weird, funny wire right there, which is speaker wire, but there was no speaker in this door, so... What's your thoughts? Hopefully it's speaker and not just power and it doesn't blow up brand new speakers. That would be nice. I have good news. Um, don't mind the copyright music in the background. I'm going to try and speak over it so we don't get copyright issues here. But we're cutting a hole right now. We've got the back speakers hooked up because they've been pre-wired by someone else. Sorry about the lighting again. Um, but the front speaker now works in this door, which never had one, so that's awesome. All we did was run an additional wire through the door, basically, and then put the correct terminals on it, and we're sweet. Now we just have to put the terminals on the other door, and then we'll have all four speakers working, so that's pretty sweet. Then we can put the door cards on and start putting those spaces in. Okay, so it is now Sunday, so it's not Friday night anymore, so I'm back working on the Maverick again, doing these speakers. Now, I've already taken the janky wood screws out that we used just to temporarily hold it on. And I put some good 30mm um, text in there, just hold on to the metal there. You can see that is now impressed into the... Um, door card there so that's good that's what we want we don't want it to wiggle around while we're driving and now i've also tidied up the wiring see i've gone and crimped it and then heat shrunk it so it's nice and neat and then we've got our crimps on the end to go on our speakers so basically i've tidied that up now you're probably asking well why didn't you do that in the first place well first of all we weren't sure if those wires up there were actually for the speakers so we thought, may as well just twist a few wires together and just see if we can get it working. And that's what we did. So it worked and we we're happy with that. And now I'm up to the stage where I can just put this speaker on, put it into those holes we drilled and put the face on. Just screw it in and then we can move on to that door which needs all that.
front speaker is all installed. They're looking pretty flashy and mint right in there, just in there. And if I close the door, it sits like the precision is so close. It's like perfectly made for it, this. And if I just get this door handle quickly and put it on, look at the clearance there. It's like it just touches it, but it can just pass it. Like how good is that? Anyway, so what we need to do now, because I'm waiting for the speaker spaces, which I'll get on Tuesday, which will be the same as those ones, I've got to put all the door trim bits back on so it looks neater and flush. So that's going to be a quick two minute job. G'day guys, so it has been a while since I filmed that last bit, so it's probably been, oh, three or so months. Now, I've been testing and trying these speakers out, the front kicker ones and the rear JVC ones, I think they are. Now, as I said, been testing them for the last three months because I've been busy and I forgot to film an outro, so that's why you're seeing this now. Um, first of all, we've got the kicker in the front, JVC in the rear. Now, both are bloody awesome. Um, I couldn't be happier for the speakers I chose. Partly the reason I chose them was so they'd fit perfectly in the doors, um, even though I did have to put speaker spaces on. So the sound's really good quality coming out of them. Um, I do find it is a little bit tinny and rattly with the bass turned up all the way, um, but that's partly because these old windows rattle a bit because I need to replace the seals. And also these doors don't have any sound ending in them. So in the future, I'll probably pull all that off the door again and we'll put some car builders or some sort of sound deadening in the doors and probably the whole car really, just so it sounds a bit nicer and there's no road noise. It's just speaker noise and in cab noise. So yeah, really couldn't be happier with the speakers. They go really well on the road. Um, I'm, so I'll probably change that radio that I chucked in there just for to get some sound and I'll probably change that in the future just to something that's more um, advanced than that. Um, it does have Bluetooth but I'd like something a bit more than that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So for now I'm pretty stoked with these speakers. Been going well for the last three months. Good road trips and that. Now I am still waiting on parts for this car and a lot of things have been happening so that's why I've been seeing a lot of videos lately. And there was stuff going on with this GoPro, which that's a whole other story for another episode. So just stick around. There's going to be a heap of content coming out soon. So I'm going to try and do weekly. If not, it'll be every second week. But yeah, just stay tuned to the channel. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Outback Trekking. Cheers, guys.